TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live until a little bit later, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell you to turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget we do got the Patreon. We about to do a Patreon reaction in a minute. This is everything that's on there. We actually about to watch Only Fools and Horses, actually, to be very specific. And we do also got the. Uh, this is the Discord. Yeah, come join the Discord, man. Today we finally gonna get around to doing the reactions from the Discord. About time. Um, that's coming a little later, though. Where am I looking at? Okay, how to make a British. How to make tea the British way. This is from Anglophonia. Episode 31. Um, I feel like every time I make a cup of tea, a cuppa as y'all would call it, I got I get it wrong. And I you know, I try British snacks on my TikTok, so and every every snack you eat, you gotta eat it. Every meal y'all eat tea with or something. I don't know. So every to every single time I make a cup of tea, somebody got something to say about my tea. So this is this should end it all, right? This got two million views seven years ago. I feel like she speaks for everybody when they're making tea, right? Two million. Want to know how to make a cup of tea the British way? Absolutely. Can you please teach me? You're in luck. I've just put the kettle on. Yes. In the previous episode of Anglophenia, we shared some of the moments in history that made tea an integral part of British culture. Now, I'm not saying that Americans don't love tea. You do, just not as we Brits know it. For start- Hold on. How you know I was American watching? You know what I'm saying? Because Brits know how to make tea already, right? Okay. 85% of tea enjoyed in America is iced. In Britain, however, we need something a little- That's a South thing. Iced tea is a, a South thing. Like, I'm in Florida, and South Tea is a, a real, I mean, and Sweet Tea is a real thing down here. A little warmer and stronger to get us through those cloudy, rainy, blustery, and generally gray days. Exactly. It's 90 degrees outside at 7 a.m. here. So what I'm eating hot tea, drinking hot tea for? You get me? Like so join me as I show you how to make a proper cup of tea the British way. How to make the perfect cuppa. Brit make a proper cup of tea the British way. How to You feel me? This good. This a good start. Okay. To make the perfect cuppa, Brits take making a cup of tea pretty seriously. Yeah, so yeah. much so that scarily seriously. George Orwell even wrote an essay on how to make the perfect cuppa. Recent research says that in order to make the perfect cup of tea, you should use freshly boiled water, which in the UK usually comes from an electric kettle like this one. And that you're Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. So when it from me, right? Put water in a pot, pot, meat, stove. You feel me? Like, me personally, there's no difference between a kettle and a saucepan filled with water to a boil. If you want to argue about it, let me know in the comments. Your tea should steep for around two to five minutes, two depending five? on personal preference. What do you mean, depending on personal preference? So you you telling me the longer I leave this tea bag, the longer I leave this tea bag in this water, filled with water, 
What does that do? Does it make it stronger or taste more or what? Like, prove it. <laughs> you feel me? Also, we put milk in our tea. The milk in tea. So do we. Tea conundrum. Milk first, then tea, or tea, then milk. With 98% of us drinking our tea with milk, this is a pretty crucial point and a question that has troubled our nation for a really long time. But don't panic. Scientists at University College London have finally worked it out. Say, scientists at University London are on, in on this? Don't y'all gotta discover like cures for cancer or something? Y'all out here. They say that tea made in a cup should have the milk added after the water so that it doesn't interfere with the brewing process. That's too much milk. That's too much milk. Look, look, black coffee. The cup should have the milk added after the water so that it- Now it's white. So y'all telling me she's speaking for the whole of Britain and this is what she's making? Look, man, if I was on TikTok and I made the same cup of tea, the comments would eat me alive. Doesn't interfere with the brewing process. But if the tea is made in a pot, then the milk should be added first. Yo. Finally, I've had so many. Yo, it's too, that tea is too light. And if you put your milk inside your cup first, then pour your tea in, your hot water, you're going to jail, buddy. You're going to H&P. Lipton tea. <laughs> You're going to H&P Yorkshire tea. Like, no, that's terrible. Sleepless nights over that one. Mm. Which reminds me, what's your favorite cup of tea? Whilst green and herbal teas have seen a recent rise in popularity in the UK, and some of us, like myself, prefer a cup of Earl Grey, you should usually expect to be offered a cup of English breakfast tea, which is a blend of black teas and remains the most popular. We're also rather smitten with tea bags when making tea at home, although you will find loose leaf tea served in restaurants and hotels. Loose leaf tea. Never had it in my life. Give me a bag. Thank you. Making a cup of tea isn't as simple as you'd think, and you should be prepared to answer some of the following questions. Do you like a builder's brew? That's extra strong tea with milk and sugar. It's called this because it's how all builders and tradesmen, in fact, anybody doing anything to your house, takes their tea. Maybe don't offer one to the burglar, though. Maybe you're a white without kind of chap, meaning milk, but no sugar. Oh, I was about to say, wait a minute now. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Do you prefer your tea loose leaf or in a tea bag? Dunking. Dunking is the art of dipping a biscuit, which is what we call a less sweet cookie, like... See, this, I have a lot of trouble with this, you know what I'm saying? People always, you know, ridicule me for my dunking time. You dunk it too much, I'm yelling at the screen. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting for it to break, so y'all just be waiting on my downfall when I dunk my cookies and whatnot. On, this is on TikTok, y'all, y'all, TikTok link down below. It's, it's, it's videos on there y'all can go see, man. I know y'all be weird about TikTok, but you know what I'm saying? This one, into your tea. Recent research has found that the best dunking biscuit is a rich tea biscuit, and that the chocolate ones are even better. Personally, I love a digestive biscuit, and yes. Ah, the doodoo biscuit. <laughs> I got I, I got a milk chocolate one, and I did the uh, dark chocolate one on TikTok. Wait, she said a rich tea biscuit? Hold on. What y'all not finna do is act like I like I don't deserve. Y'all not finna do is act like I don't deserve dual citizenship. Like this, what she talking about? This is rich tea delights from McVetties. I be prepared, man. Despite the off-putting name, these are actually really rather delicious and they are for dunking. Mm. That ain't long enough. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm gonna get make a cup of tea, grab a cookie, and dip it like this, and then go like this. I gotta.
keep it sturdy, keep it sturdy, get up underneath it. You know what I'm saying? So if it do break, it break in my mouth. Pause. You get me? Delicious and brilliant for dunking. Mm, mm, mm. I need to know y'all comments on her tea. Her tea is way too light. Like, I make a better, I'm gonna make a video. That is so good. And trust me, American cookies don't work in this scenario. They literally crumble under the heat. So don't even go there. Whether it's black, green, or herbal. Why you gotta bring American cookies down to uplift UK cookies? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Loose leaf or in a tea bag, hot or iced, with milk or without, three sugars or none. I think we can all agree that the best cup of tea is when it's made by someone else. Oh, thank you. <gasps> for me. We'd love to know how you take your tea. Let us know in the comments or tweet at Anglophenia. And remember, you can like our Facebook page too. Now, why don't you put the kettle on and enjoy some more... I, I feel like I need to read the comments to this. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's see a couple comments, man. Y'all realize the scientists at the university have figured out whether it's a tea first or milk first. I feel like that's the most British debate, to be honest. Okay, true. So don't even go there. <laughs> you guys are both. Nobody's talking about the, the color of her teeth. Is that supposed? So am I doing it wrong? Tell her leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone. I thought I was doing it right.